Okay, here's the deal. So I am going to attempt to make a miniature Christmas tree in Fusion. Uh, this should be a very simple process. I have never done this before, and I have not planned ahead for this other than making some simple sketches. And if you look at my sketch here, uh, it's going to have a base, and it's going to have three pieces for the actual tree, and then hopefully a star at the top. I'm going to be using a 3 8 inch wooden dowel for the actual uh, trunk of the tree. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It may be a complete disaster. It may turn out well. I don't know, but we're going to do this right now. So uh, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to make a base to this. So I'm going to select my front view, and we're going to make a circle. And according to my dimensions, I'm going to make the, the outermost uh, diameter of this 80 millimeters. And then I'm going to make another circle inside because this is actually going to be a smaller ring. And this should be approximately 76 millimeters because it's only going to be a 2 millimeter thick uh, ring right there. Now uh, I'm going to do a simple extrude on that. And this is going to be 2 millimeters. Let's do another circle in the middle here. This circle will be according to my dimensions. I think I'm going to do a 40 millimeter. 40 millimeter, there we go. 400, way too big. All right, so 40 millimeter. And then I'm going to extrude that also by two as well. And then I want to make it a third circle right here. This is going to be the actual uh, base to hold the dowel in. This is going to be approximately 10 millimeters uh, in the inside diameters, which means I'm going to need this as a 14 millimeter. Uh, and there we go. Make one final circle right here. This one is, I'm actually going to make this, uh, let's do 10.2. Just because sometimes I have a problem putting these dowels in there. Because there's some they're not always accurate. So anyway, 10.2. We're going to extrude this ring right here. Uh, we're going to make it 12 millimeters in a height. And so now I've got that. Now you're probably wondering, as well as I am, how we're going to connect these pieces here. Well, that's an actual simple piece here that we're going to connect. Uh, we're just going to do the following. We are going to make a simple rectangle. We're just going to uh, make it come, we're going to come up to sketch. I guess I probably want to do a center rectangle, and I'm actually going to do it right here. And I just want it, I'm going to zoom in. There we go. That is nice. Uh, let's make it only, though, uh, two millimeters in width, because I really want to make the printing process fast for this. Let's do a, another one of those center rectangles. The reason I'm doing this, uh, the center rectangles is because it'll keep things nice and easy for me as I start to do this. And I want this to go slightly into there. Okay, so we said two millimeters for that. Let's make another one. Uh, let's see, rectangle center. Nope, yeah, there we go. And expand that. Let's do two millimeters right here. And I can see that I don't really like that top part right there. So I'm going to do 18.2 millimeters. And make sure that's actually in there. It looks to be in there. So we're going to go down and do the last rectangle which we're going to start here. Whoops. Selected the wrong rectangle. Great. Go back up to center rectangle. I really need to do my macros or uh, shortcuts here. Anyway, uh, let's do, we do that two millimeters. And we're going to stretch out just a bit. Two millimeters. I knew that was going to happen. I, I knew there was something odd about that one. Let's try that again. Let's do a rectangle. Center point rectangle. And we're going to do uh, 18.2, I believe. 
and we're going to do a 2 millimeter width. There we go. Now what I want to do, I want to, uh, the bodies right now, I'm going to shut off all those bodies right here, at least uh, that, and I'm going to extrude each of these by 2 millimeters, and there we go, turn my other bodies back on, and there we go. So right there is my simple base that the tree will actually be connected to, and I'm just going to actually combine all these. Got five pieces, one, two, three, four, five, actually there's six, but there we go. So that part's done. Nice. Now here comes the challenging part. We have to make the actual three pieces for the tree. And this may be a little bit more challenging because it's not going to be just a simple triangle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the bottom of this. And the bottom is obviously the biggest. And we are going to do a 120 millimeter circle to start off with. We're going to do it right here on the same, uh, this actual same plane. So we're going to do 120 millimeters because that's going to be the maximum. Yeah, that looks good. 120 millimeters. All right. Now, I'm actually going to make a smaller circle that is going to be approximately two millimeters in diameter. So I have this two millimeter circle here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this circle right here this outer one and I'm going to move it by 60 millimeters but I'm gonna do a negative 60 millimeters if that makes sense because I'm gonna go down so I'm gonna do negative 60 millimeters and there we go so if you look here I've got this little circle here and I've got this one now we're gonna make a quick loft I always like to make my loft so I can see them from a, a uh, different perspective. All right, let's go up here to uh, create. Let's do loft. We're going to select that piece, and then we're also going to select that piece. And there we go. So I've got a simple base there. Now, uh, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to cut a piece of this out of here because what's going to happen is the next piece is going to fit on top. and I think I'm actually just going to do that at the very end. I'll do all three pieces at the same time. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, let's go back up because I'm going to make the second piece. And according to my blueprint here. Ah, what are you doing? Move, move. There we go. Uh, according to my blueprint here, we are going to need a circle. This time, I'm going to use that same plane this time though this circle will be a have a diameter of 80 80 millimeters and then we're going to make that same small circle again of two millimeters at the very top we're going to do a simple move here of this shape but this time, when I go and do my negative extrude, it will be, uh, I need, it's going to be approximately 30 millimeters. No, 40 millimeters, because I'm using a, a 2 to 1 ratio. So, we're going to adjust this. Negative 40 millimeters. Now, we'll slightly get us in a good angle there go up to create we're going to make a loft select our points yep oh, there's a second one so now i've got two of them now the third one is a little bit different because uh what we're actually going to do for this third one is we're going to make it the other two were actually two to one ratio which meant that the base 
was two times bigger than the height uh, because like in this one this one was uh, 80 and this one came down 40 what we're gonna do now uh, we're gonna make this one because it'll look a little weird if we use the two to one ratio we are gonna make another circle but we're gonna go back up to that original plane and we're gonna select here this time this circle will have a base of 50 millimeters because if we were still following the old principle it would be actually 40 but it ends up looking a little strange at least on paper so 40 millimeters another circle of two millimeters stop my sketch i want to move that like that come adjust to a bottom view there uh this time it's going to be negative 25 millimeters and then we have that slightly rotate come up to create do your loft select your points and there we go so i have my three pieces these are going to be printed separately and uh when they're printed separately the reason why it's so the base holds them together also it's so i don't have to use any support systems which will be really great so now what i want to do is i want to cut the tops off of these two right here uh the reason why is because this one is going to have the second one sit on it and then the third one will sit on the second one, but I don't want to obviously cut the tip of this third one off because that's the peak of the tree. So, uh, if I look at my blueprints here, I know that I am, uh, on the first tree, going to go down 20 millimeters. So, what I want to do is I want to select this plane, and I'm going to select the tip. I'm going to make a line of 20 millimeters. On that one and I'm gonna make another line that just cuts this right in half and so what I want to do I want to come up to my uh, modify I'm gonna split the body here and that's the body I want to split uh, my splitting tool will be just this line not that one but this just this line click OK and now I've got two bodies here and if you look here I don't need body 10 so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna remove it so ooh, ooh, look at that nice looking kind of funnel shape there let's do the same to this one here uh, according to my blueprints I'm actually going to make uh, subtract 10 out of this one so I'm gonna make a line on go down 10 millimeters there we go make another line that comes directly across to 90 degree or 180 degree angle and uh, stop that we're gonna come up to modify again we're gonna split that body okay now that body right there is body 8 I don't need body 8 so goodbye body 8 you are no longer welcome here and right now those are the ones that we have so uh, the next step of this will be to hollow these out so I actually want to come up here I'm gonna make this a shell so we go up to modify yes shell I'm gonna make this a shell and I'm actually gonna do a one point let's see what's this look like on a ruler uh because I don't want the side walls to be too thick, but so we're going to do 1.5 millimeter. Uh, 1.5, usually I do a 2, but I want this to print fast. So, that's been hollowed out. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. We're going to make a shell. Uh, come on, shell, there you are. We're going to shell this, and this is going to be approximately 1.5 millimeters. So we have that. Now, here's the tricky part. We're going to have to make this, we're going to come back to this one, body seven. And I'm actually going to rename this real quick. I'm gonna, bottom part. Yeah, I know. I'm real creative. Uh, I'm going to name this one too. 
uh, we're going to rename it as Midpart. I know my naming uh, schemes are absolutely phenomenally creative. I can't help it. I'm just awesome that way. So these right here are hollowed out. And I'm going to select the bottom part to start off with. I'm going to make my transparency a little bit. Uh, I want to do about half so I can see the inside. You see that? Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Now, I want to come in. Uh, and if I before when I made the uh, the cutout for these for the actual base, I believe that circle right there is what I want to have in here. I think it was 10.2. That's what happens when you don't really, you just do this on the fly. Anyway, we're going to do 10.2. Actually, you know what, we'll do 10, we'll do 10, 10.1. Why not? So this is going to be 10.1. And the reason I'm doing that is just so it's a little bit tighter, a little bit more snug up there. Uh, so it's going to be 10.1, and I'm going to do uh, another circle on the outside of this one. This one right here will be, uh, I think I had 2 millimeters for those outside walls on that base. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but that was not supposed to. Okay, let's try this again. That's got to be, uh, oh, that's what happened. That should be 14.1, yes, millimeters. That's what I did wrong. I accidentally just put two millimeters in the inside. That didn't make any sense. Uh, let's extrude this piece by, let's see, what would that look good on a ruler? To hold in place, if this thing is that. Let's do a uh, six millimeter. Why not? And so I, if you look in the inside right there, I've got that piece extruded, just like this. So we're going to go back to the front view. And just to make sure, I'm not sure if that's, because I can't, you know, I might even be wasting my time. Uh, bottom part, let's make you, let's put your opacity back up to 100%. Yeah, you see, you see what the problem is right there? You got that little circle there. I did not compensate for that, so we're going to go in there. We're going to do a an extrude of negative 2 millimeters. So we've got the hole. So when the dowel punches up through, it'll be able to come up here. It'll sit nice on that base. And then uh, we're going to come over to the next piece. And we're going to do that same exact ridiculous process to this one. So... Let's go ahead with our mid part, take our opacity down about half. Let's make a circle in the inside of this, go right there, and I believe we said the last time it was 10.1 millimeters. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to make that circle again. And it's supposed to be 14.1 millimeters, which it is. I'm going to do an extrude this time. This one doesn't need to be quite as tall. So I'm just going to make it 5 millimeters as opposed to 6 millimeters with the, the middle base. And we want to do a negative extrude to that of 2 millimeters just to make sure we punch all the way through. And there we go. We've now got that piece. So let's go ahead and turn our opacity back to full. It's looking pretty good so far. Looking pretty good. All right. So now what I want to do, I need to make sure I can punch that base out and put the uh, the rod up through here, which normally wouldn't be a problem except for I need to make this hollow as well because that's going to reduce the printing process more importantly. Uh, you don't want to have that much weight at the top. If this is completely solid and these are hollow, It'll be like a real tree. It could tip over. We don't want that. Santa would not be happy. All right. Uh, we're just going to gonna eyeball this one. So we're actually going to cut a, a little line across right there. 
and we're going to stop that sketch. We're going to uh, come up to modify. We're going to split that body. Got it. Now, uh, you'll notice I have two body parts right here. Number 12 is the one I'm going to rename. This is top B. And this one right here I'm going to call top A. The reason I'm going to name these is because I'm going to shut one of them off here at a time so I can work with them more independently. We're going to shut top A off because that's easiest to start with. Uh, what I want to do is... Uh, how do I want to work this? We can do this. We can do this. All right. So what I want to do, I think, is I'm going to make a... First, I gotta make this into a shell. That's what I gotta do. So I wanna come up to modify. Uh, go to my shell. I wanna select there, and I'm gonna do that same 1.5 millimeter inside. Now, I gotta start turning down the opacity to this top B. The reason why is because it comes very. It's gonna become very critical that I can see the inside of this base, and. I'm now going to make, like I did over here, make those same set of circles. It's going to be that 10.1. And I'm going to make another circle. And that circle is going to be that 14.1 millimeters. And I'm going to extrude this time by what would look good uh let's try a five millimeter don't know if that'll work okay so far that hey that looks pretty good right there easier than i thought uh we're going to extrude that right there we're going to uh do a negative two millimeters okay looks good looks good we're not going to shut off B and go work with A. Uh, a is going to be really simple. We're just going to do a simple shell to this thing, and then we're going to connect them. Uh, so we're going to do a shell to this of 1.5 millimeters, like that. So I've got that little top cap there. Yes, looks great. Perfect. Turn on B, and if I now look... I'm going to put the opacity control back at 100 for that. It looks like they are one piece right there, hollowed out. And the, we are going to make them one piece. So when I uh, export as an STL, this p these two pieces here will be one. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do that than I just did, but I don't care. Uh, let's go ahead and combine these two. There we go. So, hey. I got my three parts to a tree. I got my base over here. And you know what I'm going to do just, just because I can? I am going to make a... I think I'm going to make a dowel. I'm going to make a quick dowel. And what is it? Yeah. What was that? 60... And it was 40 plus 30 plus whatever this one was. It's 40 plus 30. Let's do a 120 millimeter dowel. I, I like that. I'm going to go with that. So let's just make a simple dowel. Let's go back up to our top. Or, well, it's actually called our front here. And uh, make a dowel. Uh, make this dowel. Let's see. Uh, I think it's, we're making 9.6 millimeters. Is that how much your 3 8 inches? Sure, why not? Okay. So we're going to select it on this plane. Uh, we said about 9.6 millimeters. And we're going to stop that sketch. Let's extrude this by, uh, did we said 120 millimeters? Sure. Yeah, we use that as our dowel and rename it trunk or yeah just call it trunk
And so we got our that piece right there. I want to actually, I want to change the, no, because every time I do that, it doesn't work. All right, so what I want to do, I was going to change the color of this, but I'm not going to waste my time. So there's the dowel. And I want to, I'm going to move it over. I'm actually going to align this right now. Let's come up here to modify. We're going to go to our align. There it is. Uh, we want to select inside of there with that piece. And there it is. Okay. And then I want to move this piece. I don't know what I just did there. Anyway, I want to move this piece. Move. No, you don't. Ah, it's because I have objects selected, not body. Let's move this over. That does not look even to me, so we are going to... That looks kind of even to me. Now we're going to move this one up, over, up, and over. That looks pretty good to me. I may need to take a small chunk of I think I will. That dowel is way too long, so what we're going to do, let's knock uh, 10 millimeters off. I need to do minus 10 millimeters. So let's knock 10 millimeters off of that to see how that works. I still think it may be too big. Yeah, that's going to be too big. Uh, let's knock another 5 millimeters off of that. That should be good. Yeah, that should, that should work. So now we're going to... Drag this guy over. He's going to go up. Make sure we're going to complete bottom view here. He's not quite up. There it is. And does it look even? I know I could align these, but I'm being lazy. Okay, so I've got a simple Christmas tree right there. Pretty cool. But if I recall, you know what? Let's do something even. Let's do something even extra to this thing. We're gonna hide the top. Uh, call top B, which now we can just retitle that as just top. Kind of. Let's hide it because now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, let's just hide it for the moment. I'm gonna try to put a star on this thing. So uh, I'm going to come in here. Uh, I've already got a, a vector designed for this. It's a 5.1. So I'm actually going to come up here. Oh, you know what i got to do? i got to save this. I haven't done that yet. S simple. Oh. Christmas tree. Okay, so I got the simple Christmas tree saved. Uh, let's come up here to uh, insert. Let's try putting a vector in here. Select my file. I think this is on the desktop. It's not the desktop. Five point star. Yes. Let's see how long it takes to get in here. This thing's slow with adding vectors. I will tell you that much. I don't really understand it. Okay. Yeah, that's my star. Not at the angle I want because I really wanted to. Um, let's rotate this just a smidge. There it is. And that's kind of. Let's turn that. Uh. I don't know. That might be a little bit too small. You know what? We're just gonna go. We're gonna run with it. Um. Uh, because we can scale it up here in a minute. Let's put that top back on. I don't even know why I shut it off in the first place. That's why I hate working with vectors in this thing. It never works right. But what we will do... 
what we are going to do, uh, yeah, why not, uh, we're going to extrude this thing. How thick do I want my star to be, though, is the question. Because here's the, here's the glitch I'm going to have with this. Never mind, I'm not going to have a glitch with this. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to extrude this by... Th was it? Three look good? You know what? I'm going to do four. Four millimeters. And I think what I'm going to do, because I don't, I, don't, I don't want this just as a generic star here. First of all, i got to scale this. So I'm going to, I need to scale this thing. So we're gonna, I'm going to modify, I'm going to scale this thing. And I'm going to scale it by three. Ooh, that's too big. How about two? Two will work. Double the height. But, ah, I didn't compensate for that. He's going to be a chunky star. That's all there is, so he's a chunky star. Alright. Let's make this into a uh, shell, real quick. One point five millimeters, and then you see that piece right there. Yeah, we want this to go be completely hollowed out. So we're going to get rid of that, and look, we got a star there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is eight millimeters because we doubled up on it on the original extrude. So let's make that sure. S, yes. Eight millimeters. Yes, I am very good. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's make a simple circle. We're going to create it on the same base, or the same plane as the, the bottom of the star. Uh, we said eight millimeter was the... Yes. And let's do an extrude of on that little circle. Uh, I twelve millimeters? No, no, no. I'm going to extrude that by twenty millimeters because I need to compensate. Yes, he might even have to be longer than that. I may have to extrude this by thirty. Uh, let's rotate this in the correct way we need to view this. I don't want to move it that far. I want to make it... Sometimes fusion complicates things for absolutely no reason. Let's see, does that look like it's lined up there? Uh, one, two, yeah. Let's move this up. I'm going to move it to about right there. Now, you'll notice I've got this weird... Yeah, you're not even lined up. What is wrong with you? There, okay. Now, if you notice, I've got that weird triangle spot, so I'm going to fill... I probably just... Have, actually, I think I'm just going to move this up. I don't care if I have that weird triangle spot, honestly. Because I should have thought about this in advance, but I didn't. So we want to move this slightly up. And you can see that this thing is obviously not exactly aligned. And that's going to bug me, because it needs to be. Uh, let's see. Moving it one millimeter. Let's try half a millimeter. Still not. Okay, uh... Do f a fourth of a millimeter? 
Nope. 33rd. I think that's probably about as close as I'm going to get with this. We're just eyeballing it. Because you can see right up in here, there's that little chunk that he's just kind of being annoying right now. What if I just did point thirty? How about I did point twenty-eight? All right, we're doing point twenty-eight. That looks good. So there is the star, and one last thing I have to do for this, and I should have thought about this ahead of time. I need to make a hole at the top of here to insert that. So, let's go ahead and try that. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to work. We're going to try right at the tip. And I believe we made that eight millimeters so we're gonna make this eight point five millimeters just for uh to compensate actually do eight point seven just to compensate for any printing uh irregularities or uh just because we don't want to fight with it and accidentally break it off okay there we go let's stop the sketch let's try negative extrude on that of 10 millimeters that did not work that did not work at all so which means we have to do it the hard way and by the hard way I mean the lazy way let's retitle this as a star oh wait a minute no, I know what we didn't do yet I gotta combine those Let's combine these two shapes right here. I forgot to do that. Body 14 is now called the star. And uh, here's what we're going to do. Because we're being lazy. Uh, we're going to copy this thing. We're going to... Uh, paste a new copy of it here. We're going to take the old one up here. And what we're actually just going to do... We are going to put it right in the middle of this thing. And then we're going to subtract it out. So let's make sure it's in the place that we need it to be right now. And it looks like it is. So now, that is star, that, star one. And we're going to go to the top. So we got both those. And I'm going to combine, but I want to actually, my target body is that, my tool body is going to be that, and I want to cut, well, no, you won't, you won't let me, okay, hang on, I think I see what I did wrong, let's go back up to modify, let's go to combine, we're going to make that our body, and we're going to cut that piece out. No. Let's do that. Cut. Cut. I don't know why it was... And there it is. So we should have a hole there. And we do. Let's make sure that hole is what we need. Because I... That stupid little... I should not have created that sketch. What sketch is that?
I, I want to delete that sketch. I, I don't need it. Uh, delete. That's just going to confuse me. And we're almost done. Let's take our, tr our star, place it at the top of our tree. Wait a minute. Why does that look... That is crooked. That is crooked. That, no. No, no. We're going to step back quite a bit for this thing. Why is that... Wait a minute, why is that crooked? Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna move this star completely up. Completely over. To right there. I must have been off by a small degree or something, because that didn't make any sense. You can still see it's not absolutely right. Let's just enter that for a second. I want to see something. The top, I want to take the opacity down. Aha! You see it? You see that? That's the problem. It's not centered. So now, we are going to move this thing. And it needs to be about a 25th of a millimeter. Or a fourth of a millimeter, I'm sorry. How does that look? It's not exact. Uh, what if I did 20? What if I did 30? I'm going to try that at 25 again. I like 25 better. Ah, eh, forget it. It's going to 25. Okay. So now we've got it there. Now we need to rotate this. We're going to move this up. That looks better. Now. Let's rotate to the front. Let's try this again. Let's try that combining again. And I want to cut that out of there. And is it even this time? It is indeed even. So now, we're going to take our, ch our star. We're going to move it up here. We had this problem before. What is it? Seventy five. Okay. Looks fine right there. Let's let's go ahead and turn it this way. Move it. And there it is. That looks good. Go back to our top. Turn that opacity completely on. And now... We have ourselves a very, very small Christmas tree. Wow. Uh, I hope this was somewhat helpful for you. Maybe you can actually do this. Uh... Uh, I will let you know in part two of the printing process because I'm going to try something very different with this when I go to print it.
But uh, there you go. You have a nice little Christmas tree. And uh, stop back for part two when I show you the actual completed process and what I'm doing during that process. So thanks for watching.